Hello YouTube. Today I'll be telling you guys what's inside one of these D-Link switches. I don't have the cover on because I've removed it and I've removed all the screws on it. The switch basically is network related and I'm really not too sure what it does but it is network gear which is nice. So, I will um, remove the cover and show you what's inside. So, once I remove all those screws, I just slide out it over, pull it out, and this was not what I expected. I expected much more than this. But there is a nice ribbon cable on here. It's called ribbon cable because it's like a bow. It's like what you would wrap presents with. Um, this one's particularly big. And this thing just pops right out. And same here. The ends are gold plated here and there. So you want to put that to the side and scrap it for your gold. And then zip the wire part and that will be um, some number two. So, now, we got ourselves our power supply on the top left hand corner. We're just going to snip off some wires going to the power supply. And also snip some wires here and there. So... There's another piece of wire. Pull this out. That to the side. This is some number two. Yeah, usually that would not be considered number two, a lot of this stuff that I caught, but my scrapyard's extremely lax and they really take any kind of wire as number two. There's insulator. Now we're just gonna undo these screws. There's three of them. And there we have it. On the back, there really isn't that much. Just a couple surface mount components and stuff. There's a lot of uh, monolithic ceramics on this board. You can see right there. All the little brown colored ones are monolithic ceramics. And all the blackish looking ones are not. But yeah, each and every one of these ports has some gold plating. And... You can see that that is not gold plate, unfortunately. But yes, would be considered, I'd consider it a mid-grade. I don't know, though. Now we're just going to remove this one board here and then this board right there. So... This board is held down by two screws. And this one has no gold plating either. But there's a lot of LEDs to salvage if you're into salvaging electronics. But if not, this is a low grade board. Now for the power supply here. We're just going to go ahead and um, undo these two screws that hold this power supply in place. And yep, it's one of these screws that have a little bolt attached to it that won't come off unless you remove the bolt. So you wanna, what you want to do is you want to, um, there's a little bolt down there. You want to hold that bolt down and with like a wire cutter or something and then unscrew the other side with your other hand. It's a bit tricky, but yeah, you just remove, um, after you do that, and you remove, oops. That one screw. And this other screw. You got yourself a nice low grade board. Just like a regular switch on with power supply, I'm pretty sure. And so, yeah, you just move those two screws, and then this thing should come right out. Alright, so finished with that. We got ourselves a ordinary low grade board for a power supply, another low grade board for the lights and the little connectors, and a mid grade board, or I'm pretty sure, um, for this piece. These things here are just some 
transformers and like some potting compound I'm guessing and just got a couple chips there two of them to be exact I guess for handling both of these ports and see I'm guessing this is all about a switching um, assembly here I'm not I'm really not an electronics person so I have no idea but that's just a guess it's fun to guess what the purpose of something is that you're scrapping and so yeah that's about it Hope you found that interesting. And by the way, the case is steel. So this whole enclosure is steel. So, hope you found that interesting. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future from the Scrap Man. And thank you for watching.